Sterling, welcome to LARP Mix. I wanted to take a minute to just do my annual review video and sort of talk about where we were in 2021 and where the channel is going in 2022. Now, towards the end of last year, I moved to a new state and um, also I ended up getting COVID and that knocked me out for a long time. It just, um, I wasn't able to be able to make videos or really get out and do anything that I wanted to and that's unfortunate. I really put a damper on things, especially uh, for this channel and my other hobbies as well. So all of that's done now and you can tell I'm no longer in the dungeon. Um, I need to you know, create a new set and find out some new areas to film, but I have a little bit of space here so I'm hopefully going to be able to get outside and do a little bit more um, outdoors type videos and uh, maybe some picture shoots and stuff now that I have a little bit more space to, to breathe. but. 2021, I was still able to put out nine videos, and if you watch them, you know, most of them were projects, which are my favorite type of videos. I mean, I love doing the reviews and uh, talking about LARP and aspects of LARP as well, but um, my heart really lies in the uh, maker process where I'm making things, whether it be uh, baking and showing you how to make depression cake, or if it's making like the oil lamp or the command seals or showing you how to do invisible ink and those type of things. I really enjoy those sort of uh, videos because I think that they're not just LARP related. You can use that in real life. That depression cake <laughs> that video, I actually made that several times after because it's so simple to make. It just requires a few ingredients. And I had leftover ingredients from when I did that video. I made depression cakes probably for like two or three weeks after that. Just, I was like, hey, I feel like I'm a little cake. <laughs> so I make a little cake. And it was just that easy to do. And that's not something that I'd ever really, you know, considered making before, but it, you know, tastes pretty good. And like I said, it's very easy to make. Um, the other videos, you know, I like dual purpose videos where you can use things for like real life knowledge as well as LARP or if you use them for like tabletop role playing games as props if you do props in your tabletop gaming. Um, or even if you're doing, you know, school plays or productions or if you make your own movies online or something. Um, just things where you can make stuff. Um, I feel like those are my favorite type of videos. So go back check out those videos I did last year if you haven't seen them all yet. And at the end of the year, that put my channel to 245 videos total. And a lot of those are project videos. Now, these aren't 30 second clips that I put on my channel. These are probably five minute to like 30 minute videos. And there's 245 of them. There's a lifetime worth of videos to watch on there. So if you're just getting into LARP or if you're a veteran LARPer who just ran across my channel, you can go back through my back catalog and even if more recent things you know aren't what you're looking for there's got to be something on my channel that would be useful to you um, even if it's just a catalyst or gets you sort of thinking about something else um, I have so many topics I cover in this channel so many projects so many reviews if you're curious about a company or a particular item that there has to be something on my channel for you so please feel free to dig back through my videos check out what I have and see if there's something that piques your interest. Um, a lot of stuff, you know, is, has some comedic value. I try to be entertaining while I do my videos as well. So I hope you find something to enjoy. A lot of people that watch my channel, I know a lot of people watch my channel because I have over, well over a million views total, um, but they don't subscribe. If all the people that watch my videos hit subscribe, my channel would probably have over 250,000 subscribers. I have so many um, the unique views that if folks would subscribe, this channel would be massive. And my one wish is that if you're watching any of my videos, please hit the subscribe button. If you want to hit the bell icon so you're notified when new videos come out, feel free to hit the bell, but you don't have to hit the bell. But if you watch my channel, you see something you like, hit subscribe. I put out so many new and different and interesting videos, you never know what else I may put out that'd be helpful to you. So please just hit the subscribe button, like the video if you care to, comment. I feel like we have a really good community on my channel. I don't see too many uh, derogatory comments. I don't have to police my channel uh, very much as far as um, the comment section goes. So I feel like those of you who are watching, you know, we're all sort of very much on the same page and we love LARP and I'm thankful uh, that I have a good community on my channel and that's you. So thank you for uh, <laughs> being easy on me. Now, 2021, like I said, total um, over a million views. 
uh, almost 9,000 subscribers. I'm hoping to push into 10,000 subscribers this year. I feel like that's a good milestone for a channel to have 10,000 or more subscribers. I'm also on all the social media, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. If you want to follow me on there, it's all at LARP Mix. Just come find me. I don't fill your feeds with all kinds of similar stuff. I am not a fan of just posting the same five pictures, you know, every few weeks over and over. Um, I don't fill it with memes or weird stuff. I only post really when there's something important um, to the channel, something interesting I think you would enjoy, or if I had launched a new video. So if you want to follow me, I promise not to fill your, fill your feeds with crazy stuff. Um, but as I get out and get some more pictures and start attending LARPs again, there will be, you know, photos and stuff. But um, they're usually, you know, unique stuff that you're only going to see one time. So follow me on social media if you want to. Um, you know, you might not see too much content from me, but when you do, I promise it'll have value or be interesting to you. Now, moving forward into 2022, I'm obviously in a new location. The dungeon background is gone. Not sure if I'm going to rebuild that or not. I really liked my physical set that I had at my um, other home, but I don't know if that I have an area to really set that up here. If I can find the space, I'll recreate it. If I can't, I'll have something new and bigger and better, hopefully, uh, to record these videos at. Um, but rest assured, you know, I'll have a uh, new set at some point in time here. This year coming up, I have a pretty long to-do list, and a lot of it is projects. Um, some of the things are LARP adjacent. Uh, some of them are very specific to LARP. I can't wait for the weather to get better. It's still snowing a little bit where I'm at. Hopefully that lets up soon. I can get outside, start doing some of these projects. I'm actually uh, recording a second video today. That's a project, so stay tuned. That video is gonna drop very shortly after this one does. Um, and I really want to get back into the groove of things since it's been a little while with, like I said, COVID and, and the move. So if you ever have any ideas, I always have my email address down below. You know, feel free to drop me a line. Let me know how you're feeling, how the channel is. If you have any ideas for a video, I try to accommodate as best I can, but sometimes the videos are just things I can't do or um, are either too expensive or for some reason I'm unable to um, do them. But please still give me the ideas. I put them all on a list and if I can circle back to them later, I will. Um, if you just wanna drop me a note and say, hey, I enjoy the channel, that's great too. I always love hearing from you, the viewers, um, about how my channel is doing. Um, also looking forward to maybe doing some reviews trying to gather up some items that I can do, looking forward to going back to some LARPs. Um, a lot of my local LARPs, unfortunately, they're still not back uh, because of COVID. Um, you know, they're just playing it safe and I understand that. Um, hopefully some of them do get some dates this year, but I'm not sure if it's the same in your area. So if you're overseas, probably not. But at least here in the States, my local LARPs, a lot of the scout camps, so these are old Boy Scout, Girl Scout camps, have been selling their property off um, to like housing developers and stuff. So a lot of these awesome camp venues that used to exist are no longer there because they've been sold by scouting organizations. I don't know if they're paying them off because there's less interest in scouts or maybe if they've lost funding or maybe lawsuits or something, but these scout camps just seem to be selling themselves off either in entirety or in large portions. And there's also what seems like an increased demand to rent these camps. I think because we're coming off COVID, everyone's been sort of cooped up in their houses. They want to get back out. So it's very hard um, for some of these art groups to get in. And some of the um, groups that have bought these camps and stuff, they want to distance themselves from LARP. I think it's really disappointing when you're as a LARP group, you go to rent at a camp and the scouting organization, or maybe if it's a religious-based organization, say that they won't, they do not want to be affiliated with LARP because they still have the old, like 1980s mentality that it that it's you know Satanism or something like playing Dungeons and Dragons is the devil. Um, but there are people and groups out there that still view LARP the same way. I mean, and I mean, well. For the most part, LARP's not like that, right? Anyways, the point is, it's hard to find these camps now. So hopefully, 
we can find venues to play at and hopefully you're not experiencing those issues but if you are um, you know get out there and look around there are venues you can probably find the problem is is I know price is always an issue um, the scout camps were always a good deal because you could work deals but you might have to go back to playing in parks and stuff and uh, you know get old school with it if you have to but I would encourage you to do whatever you need to do to get your LARP to work maybe one of your players has some property if you can get that insured you know and they're willing to offer up their event their their venue maybe you can play there but um, you know see what you can do and best of luck in your 2022 LARP season hopefully by next year everything is back up and running full speed. So I think that's all I have for this annual review video. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please subscribe, please click like, please stay tuned, lots more videos to come. Um, always here trying to show you awesome stuff that you can use in LARP and life and you know lots of other uh, venues. So if you uh, like, you know, you can follow me on social media, give me an email. If not, until next time, Adventure on.